Well, it's been a rough week in many aspects, so we thought, thank heavens it's Friday. Let's take a breath. Let's refocus on something good that happened in Portland. By the way, full disclosure, our team will take any excuse to grab a good cup of coffee. So when our producer spotted the story of holy beans brewing on Instagram, seemed like a no brainer. Here's Maggie Vespa. Thank you. How have you been? I haven't seen you in forever. This story starts with a question. What's really that newsworthy about opening a coffee shop in Portland? I really wanted to give back to the community that um, I probably terrorized a little bit. Give Shalimar Williams five minutes, if that. I have been through a lot of trials and I mean, I've survived. My one parent was incarcerated, one parent was an addict. Um, they're great now. I was incarcerated for a couple years. As you can see, the 38-year-old Portland native is doing great now. And there I discovered um, how resilient I was. But the road to opening Holy Beans Coffee Shop was long and hard. I mean, I was dancing and selling drugs and you name it. Williams will say it nearly killed her. The turning point, a car crash in 2006. I left a bar. I hit like 115 down Columbia Boulevard. Williams was driving. Her passenger, a friend, was injured. The charges, driving under the influence and assault. Williams was sentenced to three years at Coffee Creek Correctional Facility in Wilsonville, Oregon's only women's prison. As she puts it, prison saved my life. Like, and I think a lot of people when they're like, wait, what? But it did because I mean, look at the behavior that I was doing before. Like, That's not to say prison was great, but there's something you should know about Coffee Creek. You said you wanted a quad? It has a coffee cart. The women there run it, earning work experience and in some cases, earlier release dates. Williams didn't work at the cart, but she found solace sipping the coffee and reading the Bible. Again, We'll let her explain. I fell in love with Jesus and coffee in there. When she was released in 2008, Williams hit the ground running, but struggled to work with a felony record. I could not get a job. I mean, I worked at McDonald's, I worked at Taco Bell, I did telemarketing. The strength Williams found in prison carried her through. More than a decade later, she has two degrees in business administration. She's a certified domestic violence advocate, and she's a mom. That's her son, Jason, now 12. When COVID hit, Williams decided it was time to do more than succeed. She wanted to help others. She found a space, a former hair salon, and got to work. Happy going. The vision, a coffee shop and a safe haven. My mission statement is purpose in a cup. This month, this black-owned, woman-owned business, Holy Beans Coffee Shop, opened its doors at Northeast 26th and Alberta. That's Williams' old neighborhood. Yeah, I've been knowing her ever since she was a young girl. Her customers are old friends. Watched her grow. I've seen her at her, maybe her low, as we say. And uh, just to see her now as uh, a young lady uh, at her best uh, and still growing to be her best. She's, she's an amazing lady. Can I have a chai? Yeah. Okay, cool. You want a dirty chai or just a regular chai? It's clear Holy Bean's purpose is luring people in. Williams makes a point to hire people needing a hand. Some have criminal records. Some are in recovery. Williams gives them formal training as baristas and promises if they hit a snag and need to step away from the job, it will be waiting for them when they come back. It's everybody's favorite. I'm Williams says she wants to change the perception of what a felon looks like and what someone with a past can achieve. She figures coffee changed her life, so why not let it work its magic for others? It's my responsibility to turn around and give back because there's a lot of girls, one, that are that are on drugs or two, aren't alive anymore. And I and I'm, I am and I'm in my right mind and I feel like it's I have a sense of duty to turn around and to give back. And I always say I literally turn my pain into power. My pain is my purpose. Maggie Vespa, KGW News. Great reminder there's good stuff going on in the world.